Hi, this is Matt from Audio Lab, and in this video I want to show you around Emergent Drums 2. It is a drum plugin that generates all of its samples by using AI. In this video I want to show you all of its features and how to use them in some creative ways. As you can see, the plugin is divided into two. On the left you have all the drum pads that hold the samples, and on the right its respective editor. You'll start with sample generation. So to generate a sample, we can go to this menu right there and select the sample we want to generate. We can also choose between two algorithms. Crunchy is the first algorithm, and with Emergent Trumps 2, they introduce Creamy, which generates some smoother sounds and overall with less artifacts. So I'll select Creamy and generate a clap. Once the sample generates, we can preview it. Now, let's say I don't like the sample. With the slider here, I can select how similar I want the next sample to be. Let's set it in the middle somewhere and generate the new variation. I like this sample better. But in case I didn't, we can simply go back to the previous variation by using the arrows right there. Now that we have a nice sample, I can start editing it. I'll first use the trimming handles to set the sample's beginning and end. Then I'll adjust the release time to make it a bit shorter. Or I can adjust the attack time to make it fade in. Right there, we have a clipping function. And right next to that is a filter. I'll just cut some of the low frequencies. So now that I have a sample that I like, I can simply drag it to my DAW by using this handle. A nice use case for Emergent Trumps is making sample packs really quickly. So let's say I want to generate 16 claps. I can simply copy this pad and paste it to all the other pads. I will lock the first drum pad since I already like that sample and click the button right there to generate 15 new samples. Okay, so all the samples I've just generated. What I would do now is I will simply go to each sample and pick out the ones that I don't like and generate a variation. Once I have 16 samples that I like, I can simply drag them out all at once to my DAW. Now I can do some final processing and put them in a sample pack. Another cool way to use Emergent Drums is by making drum kits. If we click on the kit right there, we can select one that's built in. As you can see, some of the samples play at once. We can do this by setting multiple pads to the same trigger note right there. As you can see, all of these pads are set to C1. This way, we can layer samples right in the plugin. For example, we have the attack of the kick, the sub of the kick, and then a click sound. When generating entire drum kits, don't be afraid to use the panning and the pitch to create some nice variation. This is great for samples like toms. However, since we don't have the options for toms, I can simply drag in one of my own samples and generate a variation of that. Right here we have a tom. Let's make a variation of it. Let's make three more. So now that we have four toms, let's get creative with the panning and pitch. I'll pan them from left to right and make the pitch go from high to low. We also have the option to make our samples stereo instead of mono. Once we have a kit that we like, you can click the current drum kit and go to save kit for easy access. Finally, I want to go through some settings which I haven't covered already. So first for the pads, we have the option to drag pads around. Then if we click on the Emergent Drums logo, we get some more settings. The most important ones being output routing, which allows for multiple outputs in your DAW, or we can change the window size and view mode. 
This is a different view mode. In this view, we can see all the path settings in one go. This makes it very easy for quick sample adjusting. Now that we've talked about all of its features and some great ways to use Emergent Drums, you can start creating samples yourself. If you want to know more about Emergent Drums or have any kind of question, feel free to leave it in the comment section or join our Discord. Or if you want to know more about Audio Lab, you can go to the website audialab.com. Thank you so much for watching. Stay creative.